So <clears throat> let's take a look at this. I'm going to read this for you guys. We're going to start at Revelation 21. So we must understand that New Jerusalem has many names. New Jerusalem, of course, Zion, Mount Zion, the Holy Hill of Zion, Heaven. It's also called Heaven. Um, and also called the Tabernacle of God, the Tabernacle of Yahuwah. So check this out. Check this out. This is so cool and gives me the most confirmation to let us let us know that when this all goes down, that group will be set apart. So check this out. Revelation 21, sorry, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, right? And I heard a great voice out of heaven, right? This is coming from New Jerusalem. I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, right, the tabernacle of Yahuwah is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahuwah himself shall be with them and be their Elohim. So we're seeing here the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and this is a key word, the tabernacle, right? So check this out. This is during the reign of the Antichrist. Uh... Elon Musk, pleasure to have you on. Thanks for having me. So this is the dragon that, that goes yes. up uh, into space and is going to go up on Monday, correct? Yeah, that's our Dragon spacecraft, uh, or version 1, which is capable of taking cargo to and from the space station, including uh, bi biological cargo, like you know, fish and mice and that kind of thing. So when do, when do human beings uh, start going up in it, do you think? So we expect to complete version 2 of Dragon, which will have astronaut transport capability uh, in about two years. And most of what you do now is, is send uh, satellites uh, up into space, right? That's yeah. how you pay the bills. Exactly. But you want to do something much more ambitious with space science. Yeah. The, 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 I mean, the long-term aspiration is to develop the technologies necessary to transport a large number of people and cargo to, to Mars um, in order to create a self-sustaining civilization there. In order to create a... Create a create a self-sustaining civilization there. And that's really why I started the company, was because it seemed to as though... Create, to create the possibility for life on other planets. To create the possibility for life on other planets. Let's see. And they, they, this is the world. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 in two months, right? To create the possibility for life on other planets. Yeah, exactly. Uh... What I really want to try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible. There, there, there are really two fundamental paths. One path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species. Why Mars? So listen to this. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against Yahuwah to blaspheme his name and check this out and blaspheme his tabernacle and then that dwell in heaven, right? So again, this tabernacle is also called heaven. Can't debate it. Tabernacle is there. Because what is he, blaspheming something that's invisible? No, he's blaspheming the tabernacle, right?